hello hello guys so this is another easy question first bad version so let's see so we are the product manager and currently leading a team to develop a new product so unfortunately the latest version of our product fails the quality check since each version is based on the previous version all the versions after the bad version are so bad so from this we got an idea how the problem is going to be i guess suppose we have some uh, just a second suppose we have some core products like p1 and p2 p3 p4 so in the p5 product that's the latest one we found an error like it's not good so it could be because there have been an error in the previous ones there will be an error because when for example if p3 is bad while making p4 it will be also bad p5 will be also bad so we have to find out like p3 like this was the bad one i guess so suppose that you have n versions the one to n as i have said now you wanted to find out the first bad one you have to find where the bad one begins which causes all the ones to be bad so i guess that's simple you have a given api bool is bad version it's in boolean so the api is also given we directly have to call it which returns whether the version is bad so implement a function to the first bad version let's see some test cases n is given as 5 so it would be like 1 2 3 4 5 the bad one is 4 so in this case it would be 1 2 3 4 5 so they have given that the bad one is 4 so at first what we can think about this is like the output is like 4 so 1 2 3 4 4 is the bad one so that's where it begins it's saying like uh, when we have called 3 it's not bad when it comes to 4 it's bad so that's how it is going so they won't give the bad you know they will only give the num n numbers you have to check it using this is bad version of uh, is bad version api so that's what it is told it's very simple so i hope you understood this like here we are searching like the first thing that comes to your mind is brute force approach we have search for everything if this is bad if this is bad if this is bad in this case if this is bad we can return that this position is bad from this onwards it will be bad but it takes off and time we can make it even more optimized so whenever such problem comes what i learned is that we can when it is searching and if the numbers are already sorted we can go for a binary search because it gives the solution in o of log n time so look i want to n so it is already in sorted manner so we can think of a binary search approach which will give the result that's very simple in this case so we need the low so low will be one here there is no index then high will be n that is the last element so while we have we need the mid value mid will be as usual low plus high by two that's the normal binary search logic so this is a direct binary search solution there is nothing to much think of so what we have to do is like if the api is given is bad version of that mid value if that's a bad version if this condition means if it's true if it's equal to true that's correct then we have to check for the previous half that's what we have told now so high will become mid minus one or else low will become mid plus one that's all about the logic then what we have to return we have to return the value now so i'm just returning low that's the first element so that's all okay guys so let's see again in another video thank you